In this After Effects tutorial, I want to show you how you can prepare such an animation in a few minutes, we'll use polygons, we'll use shape layers, we'll have a little fun with their pets and stroke, and that's a perfect animation to spice up your YouTube videos or overall your graphical projects. As we arrive in our lovely After Effects, let's create a new composition. I click on Composition and select New Composition. Now you want to make sure to make the composition smaller, for example 500 pixels of width and height. Also the duration doesn't need to be as long, I think 2 seconds will be optimal for our animation. The composition name, let's stay with the original name for now. And we have our composition ready. I come closer with the scroll wheel and I'll use the rectangle tool. You can select a rectangle, an ellipse, a star, this time however we'll work with a polygon. I select the polygon and by pressing the shift key I create a polygon in the middle of the screen. I press V to open up the selection tool and I move it to the middle of the screen. Ok, I see we can still resize it a bit. And I actually wanted to have 6 sides, so I can go in the polystar, in the polystar path and we have the points. The points determine what object do we really have here. So I'll make 6 points, alright, that's better now, and the stroke will be 0 pixels, because we will work with the stroke inside of this polystar. If you are ready, if you prepared the shape layer, please open it up and in the content add a trim pad. Trim pad will allow us to make a little animation with the stroke here. I move the trim pad above the stroke, I open my stroke and I make the width to 10 pixels, so we see what's happening here. Later we will animate this keyframe here. Ok, back to the trim pads. We will work with the end and offset. Click on the stopwatch near to the end, make it 0%, go 2 seconds forward, as you can see my entire composition is 2 seconds, so I have 1 second and 29 frames, that's the last frame I can animate on, so that's ok, and I'll make it 100%. Now I go back and I also want to work with the offset. I place a stopwatch and this 0 degrees keyframe should be here at the end. And on the beginning, I want a positive amount to, for example, 150 degrees. Now look what happens. The entire animation is offset and it animates differently. Without the offset, it would just animate round here. In that case, this will be a bit more interesting and look a bit more fancy and original. The last thing we will work on is actually the stroke. Ok, at the beginning, to not be so boring and just have 10 pixels of stroke with I start with 0, I place a keyframe here. So this keyframe is 0, at 1 second it will have 10 pixels, so it slowly grows thicker, and then again 0 at the end. This will create a seamless animation growing and shrinking the actual stroke around it. The last thing we want to do is work with dashes. Now if you do not know how dashes work in After Effects, dashes are available in the stroke options, but by default there is no dash added. You need to click this button because this would be too much items here and it's, and it's not always necessary, that's why you have to add it manually. As you click, dashes, gap and offset arise. If you click more times, a new gap, a new dash, a new gap, a new dash. We of course only need one gap and one dash, so let me Ctrl Z back to my original placing. Go at the beginning and place several keyframes here, on each the dash, the gap and the offset. Now the keyframes will indicate how big the actual dash is, how big the gap between there is and how much it's offset between the animation. Let me delete those keyframes, go to the beginning and the first dash I want to have it to an amount of 500, the gap to 200 and the offset let's say for example 300 or 200. You can try around but this would be ok and at the end you already see this animation is really interesting but those dashes also need to vary a little bit because it would be too boring. So at the end I'll make this 300, this 100 and this for example 800. Now that's my finished animation, I'll close everything and that's the actual polystar. Now what would you like to do now? This shape should be Ctrl Shift C precomposed. I'll call it just dasher, just, just for fun. And this dasher could be set on a bigger composition. So I press Ctrl K or go to Composition, 
composition settings and make it a regular HD video as you would do normally. You see I have this little object here in the middle. Now I can just click here, Ctrl D, 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 D to duplicate it several times and work around with it. Make it smaller, make it different, maybe press R and rotate it a little bit just to make it a bit more interesting. Place it here, take the next, place it here, take the next and so on until we fill the screen a little bit. If you are too lazy, you can pre-compose once again that and then duplicate, point it to another place and we again saved a lot of time. Now, what I also wanted to do is to offset them a little bit because right now this would be boring because everything is starting at the same position. Let me make the rotation maybe 90 degrees, this will look better. And offsetting can be done just like that. You move everything forward just a little bit and you basically have this animation finished. Okay, I adjusted the timings and this is how my finalized animation would look like. And you could use this in any video, any place. Once you are ready, I would, for example, pre-compose that, press another time, Control shift c name it Dasher Animation. And this Dasher Animation on a new composition could be just dropped like that. You drop the Dasher Animation and it plays, it stops and the video plays on. I hope you like this animation and this technique and I taught you something in After Effects. If you want to support me, below in the description you have links to my online courses, which you can get here at a heavy discount, and be sure to subscribe to this channel for future tutorials like that. My name is Andrzej Pach, I hope you did like the video, and see you in the next one.